MC Red. Uh, my dear, please, what's your name? Okay, call me um, Salasi. Salasi, all right. Uh, here in Ghana, most of you see me this driving bicycle. Why, as a lady, you want to join I mean, a program that involves bicycle riders? Why do you want to join a program like that? Okay, so, um, first of all, in Ghana, I want to correct that there are women who ride bicycles. All right. And maybe we want to start from up because it's a common culture to see women who ride bicycles in their daily lives. It's, it's, a, it's a normal thing to use a bicycle. It's just that we find ourselves in a city where things uh, happen differently and things are moving really fast. So in Ghana, women do ride bicycles, but when you come into a crowd, the only thing is um, speed. I see. So we are speeding up with life. I see. And, and, and so you don't really see lots of people. However, there are some who do ride. Now, to answer your question, why, as a lady, you want to I want to ride um, to this program. Yeah. Um, I want to say cycling um, puts me in a different uh, atmosphere. All right. I love the energy of which it puts me in. Um, it will be better to cycle um, and, and ride past people in traffic, enjoying the, the wind blowing right behind you. Who wouldn't want that? So, All right. So, how long have you been riding as a lady? Oh my so the thing is, I'm not a, a consistent cyclist. Okay. Yes. So uh, I would say I've been riding uh, as a child. Um, there was a course, and uh, I picked up after, after some time. Actively, I would say I had to go back to it from. Um, 2019 okay. as a leisure and then uh, active in 2020. So in that case, since you've been riding, can you say that you've been protected on the road as you ride? So what I've noticed about cycling in Accra is it's, it's an adventure. An adventure in the sense you need to find your path and, 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 and you, you need to pay attention. And the only thing is, you want to enjoy what you're doing while on the cycling road or whatever it is. So you are battling with the traffic, so with vehicles, with pedestrians, with animals, and, and with other cyclists, you understand. So um, I feel like lanes would really help. We do have some lanes, I have noticed, um, on the Liberation Road, all the way from uh, University of Ghana, all the way to... Um, a point uh, just before Medina, and then you have to go past it when, on your way to Ebri. When you get to, um, I forgot the name of. Before you get to Adensa, there's also a cycle lane there. Oh, I see. So th there, there are, but okay. I feel like that that's the initiative okay. to, to continuing. Okay. Yes. I see. So, as a lady, what would you advise to your fellow ladies? Because here in Accra, you will not see many ladies like yourself riding. What would you want to tell? The ladies. I, the I think I would want to address not only ladies, I want to address parents as well. I see. Because um, if parents um, understand what, what cycling will do to their kids, their kids will grow up cycling and pass it on to their, their next generation. So not necessarily ladies, but to to anyone who's cycling like me, I can serve as a role model. When I say cycle, I see children who will look at you and they are looking and beaming with a smile because they are amazed. Yes, and, and that's an inspiration indirectly. So, not necessarily to ladies, but I hope that I would inspire anybody that I meet. Yeah, thank you very much, Salasi. No, 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 no. uh, My pleasure. Uh, it's great talking to you and God bless you. Thank you. MC Red.